Alright, I've just been to Rivet City just to buy some more ammo and some more stim packs just to prepare for my journey to Vault 87. But actually, if you have a look on the map here, it's not actually too far away. So yeah, I decided to fast travel to Smith Casey's because that's like the nearest location I've discovered that will like go to Vault 87. So yeah, it's just up north, and I'd say about half a kilometre away, probably a bit more. Yeah, I think I heard a sentry bot up here as well, and yeah, they're pretty difficult to kill. In fact, I think they well, I think they might be Enclave, because I just saw it fighting a Brotherhood of Steel member, and yeah, the Enclave are like against the Brotherhood of Steel. Yeah, well, I think they've taken over the Jefferson Memorial, because that's where the purifier is. So, yeah, hopefully, well, hopefully they don't work out the code while I'm away. Yeah, so I'm going to Vault 87 to locate a Gek, which is like a Garden of Eden creation kit. Yeah, and according to Dr. Brown, apparently it's to, like... It, like creates like a new life or something. Yeah, but by the way, I hope I get a lot of XP for killing this sentry bot because you know it, it must take a lot of damage to kill one of these, especially with a melee weapon because I'm using a sword and they're quite high in damage. Yeah, they've got about eight or nine damage. Well, maybe more if the melee weapon skill is like high. Well, I guess 98 XP isn't really too bad. Yeah, I'm just going to see what's here. If there's like any... Anything in the rest of these metal boxes. Just, you know, since I'm at a camp, you know, they're bound to have pl uh, plenty of supplies. Yeah, so the robot might have been like guarding the place. And, you know, that Brotherhood of Steel might have, like, decided to head over here, like, to probably loot the place or something. Just, yeah, I've noticed it hasn't really been looted yet, because there's still quite a few, you know, things lying around. Quite a bit of ammo, quite a few caps as well. Yeah, well, I have got the Scavenger perk and the Fortune Finder perk. So, yeah, the Scavenger perk is where you find, like, a bit more ammo and like you know crates and boxes and the fortune finder perk is where you find a, a bit more caps so yeah so you pretty much you know you've got more luck yeah in fact I kinda should have had like my luck skill pretty high when I first be well when I first began in Fallout yeah, there's a lot of cigarettes here, and you know they're quite valuable. So yeah, I could, I could probably sell them for when I get back to Megaton. So yeah, I killed nearly everyone at Megaton apart from, a free, well, a few like traders or merchants, whatever you want to call them. So yeah, I'm sure this is the way to Vault 87. It did say on the map it was north. Right, this looks like some sort of tower or like a radio. Yes, some sort of radio tower, I would say. We'll just see what's in here. Yeah, if I'm headed up north, then I think there's going to be a lot more tougher enemies we'll have to face. Yeah, probably a few death claws as well, and I've already mentioned they're really difficult to kill. Oh, it seems I've discovered a new radio signal. Right, Papa November. Wait, isn't that like a band or something? Just, I'm sure there's a band called Papa November. Oh no, wait, I'm thinking of a uh, Papa Roach, sorry. Yeah, I just kind of, well, I kind of got mixed up between the two names.
Yeah, so I think that's like the third or fourth radio station I've discovered. Right, I know there's the there's the Galaxy News radio, there's the Enclave radio. I think that's the one where President Eden records himself or like broadcasts himself and there's that Papa November that I've just discovered where I got like the name totally mixed up between a uh, band and the radio. Yeah and I think, well there isn't really a Vault 101 radio system but there's like a, I think it's called a PA signal or something. Yeah I'm not surprised there's Super Mutants here as well by the way. I don't really listen to the radio stations on Fallout 3 anyway, and if I did, I'd probably get like in trouble for copyright. Well, I, I would get like copyright complaints as well. So yeah, it's probably best not to listen to them. But yeah, they've got like some very old-fashioned songs on there, by the way. So you know, like 1950s, probably very early 60s, in like. Songs that were played like around World War Two time. So yeah, there isn't really any modern songs. Yeah, I think uh, Butcher Peter's on here, and yeah, yeah that, that's actually quite a good song. I think uh, it's Galaxy News that play that song. I think the different radio stations will probably play different songs. Yeah, I don't think Vault 87 is going to be too far now. Well, I do remember Rothschild saying that Vault 87 has this has uh, this place called Little Lamplight or something. Yeah, and apparently that's like an alternative route into Vault 87 because the main entrance of Vault 87 is apparently flooded with radiation, so. I think he said I'll have to take like a slightly different route to get into Vault 87. Yeah, I still hope it's like accessible though. I just hope it isn't blocked off. Yeah, I'm sure I'll find a way in. Yeah, so I think this, in fact I think this is a little lamplight or something. I'll just see if there's anything in here first before I go in. Yeah, I'm nearly level 18 as well, so when I do level up, I thought I'd probably get the here and now perk because I do remember it being like an option in earlier levels, but I thought I'd probably get it later on because basically what the perk does is it, it like skips the next level that you're about to like turn into and then it automatically takes you to the next level so you don't really have to like kill anyone or like you know earn any more XP so like say when I turn level 18 if I get the here and now perk I'll be level well I'll automatically skip level 18 and turn level 19 so yeah you do like skip an entire level but it lets you get skills a bit more quicker so yeah you'll be a bit more prepared There, mister. Don't take another step, or we'll blow your fucking head off. You're big, and I don't have any big friends. You better just go out the way you came in. You don't want to go there. That's where the monsters are. We got pretty good at keeping them out. Probably better than you could do. The big ones. You know, the ones that sort of look like people, except they're all wrong. I think he means the super yeah, mutants. I do, but it's through Little Lamplight, and you're not getting into Little Lamplight. Guess you better find some other way, Mungo. Hell no! No Mungo's allowed! You must think I'm stupid or something. I'm not falling for any of your tricks. Why should I trust you? I got no reason to. You Mungos are nothing but trouble. I ain't gonna let what happened to Sammy and Squirrel happen to anyone else. Then and Penny got themselves caught.
by mungos, just like you. Slavers from Paradise Falls. I told them to watch out, but the stupid kids didn't listen. You do that? Maybe. If you can bring them back, I might let you in. Alright, so let's head to Paradise Falls. Yeah, that's nice. yeah, so if I rescue his friends, then I'm sure he'll let us in. So, yeah, just to try and, like, get him to trust me, pretty much. <laughs> 